good morning children how are you all hope fine and enjoyed the vacation i am also fine once again your science teacher bhavna desai is with you with the lesson number 3 that is fiber and fabrics children as before we have learned components of food why all the nutrients are uh, necessary for our body and before that food from where we are getting now we will learn fiber and fabrics children have you noticed occasion wise we are wearing different type of clothes in summer we prefer to wear cotton clothes in winter we wear woolen clothes and whenever we are having parties or going to marriage at that time we prefer to wear silk clothes do you ever notice from which fabric it is if you touch you will make out whether the cloth is made up of cotton woolen or silk now this is the introduction for the lesson we'll go afterwards but today i will do the introduction clothes are made up of fabric and fabric are made up of fibers children you know what is the meaning of fiber a thin thread like thing is called fiber fabrics are defined as the clothing material which is made by weaving or knitting threads and is obtained from the yarn again i'll repeat fabrics are defined as the clothing material which is made by weaving or knitting threads and is obtained from yarn further you know you will know what is the meaning of yarn they are made from tiny thread like fibers these fibers are twisted to make a yarn fiber is the material that goes into making fabric this is very important again i'll repeat fiber is the material that goes into making fabric on the other hand fiber is obtained from natural sources such as plants and animals or it could be synthetic having been made in factories again i'll repeat fibers is obtained or fiber is obtained from natural sources such as plants and animals or it could be synthetic having been made in factories some clothes or fabrics are cotton and some are synthetic some are woolen and some are of silk if you have noticed bed sheet sorry if you have noticed bed sheet blankets curtains table clothes towels and dusters are made from different kind of fabrics children again i'll repeat if you touch from that only you can make out that the fabric of bed sheet and towel is different blanket it is little bit different so if you touch then only you will feel the fabric is different collect some piece of clothes of different fabrics and touch and feel the fabric you may find different fabrics while touching we will start with cotton fabrics take a piece of cotton cloth and just remove one loose thread at one of the edge and pull it out again i am repeating cotton cloth take a piece of cotton cloth and just remove one loose thread at one of the edge and pull it out that means you have to remove one thread or one small thread or you have to pull it out from the particular clothes we see that a fabric is made up of yarn arranged together 
small all the yarns yarns are very thin uh, sorry yarns are very thin thread which together make fabric now you may have question that what are yarn what are the yarn made up of yarn is a thread many threads together prepare one yarn take yarn from a piece of cotton fabric keep this piece of yarn on the table then press one end of the yarn with your thumb pull the other end of the yarn along its length with nail what do you see the yarn will split into the strands this means the end of the thread is separated into a few thin strands again i'll repeat take yarn from a piece of cloth or from a cotton fabric keep this piece of yarn on the table then press one end of the yarn with your thumb pull the other end of yarn along its length with nail what do you see the yarn will split into thin strands this means the end of the thread is separated into few thin strands sometimes it is difficult to pass thread through the eye of a needle this is the second example i am telling you children sometimes it is very difficult to pass thread from the eye of a needle you have noticed your mama when she is doing this she is finding difficulty to pass away the thread from the eye of the needle the thin thread that we see are made up of still thinner thread are called fibers again i'll repeat the thin thread or that we see are made up of still thinner thread are called fibers fabrics are made up of yarns and yarns are further made up of fibers again i'll repeat fabrics are made up of yarn and yarns are further made up of fiber where does fibers come from this is a very important thing that where we are from where we are getting the fibers the fibers of some fabrics such as cotton jute silk wool are obtained from plants and animals again i'll repeat the fibers of some fabrics such as cotton jute silk wool are obtained from plants and animals means this fibers we are getting from plants and animals wool and silk fibers are obtained from animals wools and silk fibers are obtained from animals wool is obtained from fleece the meaning of fleece is a woolly covering of a sheep or goat again i'll repeat wool is obtained from the fleece of sheep or goat it is also obtained from the hair of rabbits yaks and camels again i'll repeat wool is obtained from the fleece of sheep or goat and it is also obtained from the hair of rabbits yak and camel we get silk fiber from cocoon of silk worm the meaning of cocoon is a silky case spun by the larva of many insect to protect means cocoon protects uh, itself by covering from small fibers which will protect them from enemies so children hope you have understood up till here this was the introduction the lesson further we will go 
टिल देन आई एम स्टॉपिंग माई लेसन हियर होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड वॉट आर नेचुरल फाइबर्स एंड फ्रॉम वेर वी आर गेटिंग नेक्स्ट सेशन अगेन वील गो फॉर दर दैन बाय बाय सी यू